Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to EGTV Hearthstone League Season 1 Cycle 1. It's the playoffs, loser bracket, round 2 between Winsushi and Deriku. Now, um, both of these players are in the loser's bracket for a particular reason. Winsushi especially because lost to Kriya yesterday and a bit of a walkover over Bo Yangi. He is now in a pretty good spot against uh, Deriku. Deriku on the flip side, he lost to Lemniscate, our only Filipino player in the playoffs and now he is also in the loser's bracket. The winner of this will proceed to the next round which is loser's bracket round 3 and will proceed to face off either Trinity or Allura. That's it, Bibble here joined by Lark. Lark, are you there? I'm here. You there? Hello? I, I cannot really hear you. <laughs> hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Hear, yeah, hello. Hey, <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Hey. Ah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're yeah, here. That's great. Alright, so Lark, what are your thoughts on this matchup here? Uh, well, I think this is, like I said earlier, I definitely think this will be a very interesting match for sure. Um, I do believe that, in my opinion, this, like, I mean, it's a really close matchup because Deriku is pretty good himself, as well as Wenshushi. Wenshushi was able to take it to Korea yesterday in, into a, a five-game series, plus the fact that, you know, the, the very first game, in case you guys haven't watched it, you guys should definitely watch it because uh, it was it was so it was such a nail biter. Like Kriya and and Wensushi were just really at it, at it, at each other's throats in that game. It almost seemed like anyone could have win it, won it. Sorry, but yeah. Yeah, of course it's it's been a hell of a playoff already with a lot of um, three two matchups in the winners bracket. But now the losers bracket so far: Alura <clears throat> won Yamafuda three one and. Wensushi against Dariku. I mean, I'm very confident in Wensushi because he's the winner of a particular tournament back in, um, I think, uh, I think about two weeks back at uh, Tough Cookie Gaming Cafe. He was a Crown Singapore champion there. There were a lot of other players such as Alura who didn't manage to win anything. But yeah, he kind of got knocked out of loser's record. So he lost both his games that day for Alura, but for Wensushi, he won everything. He It's not like as if he ran, he ran undefeated. He lost boards and maps, but still, he is able to win the <coughs> tournament in total. And a very clutch uh, grand finals between him and Gigi Do, and other Singaporean as well. Vietnamese Singaporean, so yeah, crazy mixture we have here in Southeast Asia. <laughs> but yeah, so Deriku on the flip side, he's been a bit of a quiet boy from Group G. Um, sorry, Group E, and uh, he has hasn't really made much of an impression really, except for the fact that he picked uh, the Hunter against Lemniscape, and that won him uh, two games lead. Unfortunately, he sh his deck just couldn't hold against the Shaman deck from Lemniscape, and he fell after that. But Back, even back at the group stage, nothing too um, too significant was coming up with Deriku. He's always just a quiet person by the side that just um, doesn't doesn't seem to strike as a very strong player yet. But mm -hmm. he he excels in a different stance. I, I feel like he excels in an area where it's a little bit more intensive in the meta in which you know just deciding what decks go well against the other and always choosing the right decks. Um, sometimes even going against contrary belief, like using a hunter against Druid and winning Yamafuda there in a winner's bracket, I think that was on Monday. Yeah, so these are the main reasons why I think Deriku is a very strong player. He's very good in picking decks, and he knows what good, what decks are good against which decks. So Wensushi might actually be off to a pretty bad, sp bad start here, but it's going to be up to the individuals here, and RNG will be a factor as well. So the first game is going to start, Babel here with Luck. Luck, anything else? Uh, before that, before we go in, who do you think is going to pick what? Uh, I think that... Let's take a quick look. I believe both players should... Hmm, it's tough to say. I, th I think for... For Deriku, Deriku probably is... Hmm. I don't know, it's it's a real toss-up in my opinion. To, to be to be very, very frank. I mean, he could go by... He, he could go for his Druid as usual. I always say this, like... Druid is just such a solid... Uh, 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 what do you call it? a solid start. <clears throat> As for when sushi, hmm. when sushi drew it as well, I guess. Just druid matchups are much more favorable, and it's gonna be a lot more interesting, at least for the spectators. <laughs> druid matchup, yeah. Um, yeah. I would feel a druid matchup is definitely very strong, but both of them will not start with druid. Um, that's what I thought, but apparently I'm wrong, because Deriku again is just so hard to expect. He's actually gonna start with his druid. But when Sushi, I think he's gonna start something else. He's gonna start with his Paladin as well. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The first game, we're gonna show you guys the Mulligan screen here. It's a bit of a lag of a transition, but it should generally be fine. Um, yeah, luck. What do you think of the starting hand so far? Ah, uh, it's 
it's, it's actually surprising that Sushi decided to go with his Paladin deck as his first deck. His starting hand's not bad. He's got the Wild Pyromancer, he's got his Arch, uh, Defender of Argus, he's got his Nat Pagel, he's got his Trist of a Champion. Deraku, though, has Innervate Harvest Golem, but, but the problem is, next turn, you can only play his Ancient Watcher, and he's going to be completely out of cards, <laughs> essentially. So it's oh, kind of awesome. I prefer this coin into Pagel play here. Oh, but Pagel doesn't do anything for Sushi. Sushi is in such bad spot already. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Now it's gonna be back to the Black Knight. Okay, that's not gonna help him at all. He can play the Ancient Watcher and make it AFK like it normally does. Make it just mm -hmm. watch. But that's that, and there's nothing else can really do. So yeah. I mean, I mean that's the only thing he can do. Like he can't really do anything exactly, after this. There's nothing else can really do. So, um, but she's gonna summon a dude there. Come on, Bigel. Aww. But no Bagel for two turn. That's a zero two Pagel. AFK Pagel gonna die right now. And once she's coin completely wasted. Well, yep. it's not really wasted because it become a, a little bit of a you know meat bao that we call it in Chinese. Um, a the what? one that uh, meat bao. You know? Do you eat bao? You don't eat bao. Yes, yeah, I eat bao. Yeah, oh, bao. 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 No, but we call it kong ba bao. Where it's just for eating. So. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Never mind. So yeah, we have a. Uh, it's not the chashu bao that I'm talking about, but anyway, enough yeah. about food already. 10 p.m. No food oh, yet hungry. on the table. So hungry, man. The casters need food, guys. Yeah. Yeah. If you do see us, if you do come down on Friday to Illinois Arena, we're gonna be casting there. Or rather, I am. Lock's gonna be back in NY. So yeah. If you can, I'll be really appreciative if you can provide some food. It's gonna help me a lot. Make my day a lot better. <laughs> okay, bro. Hey. Yeah. So now we got sushi up against Deriku here in this game, and the silence gonna be up on Ancient Watcher. That's a very lucky top deck there. It at least provides and uh, makes sure that uh, Derek is starting hand is not that bad right now. Um, he can look for the 2-3 to knock off the dude, the 4-5 going for face, early game aggression, and the first <coughs> blood has been shed! Derek is going to bleed 4 damage. Yep. Or rather, in terms of blood drops, that's 4 blood drops. <laughs> four, four, four blood drops, yeah, but this is an easy Elder Peacekeeper. Unfortunately, he's forced to use it so early, but it's quite a problem for him now. Because uh, it, it say bigger creatures come out for Deriku mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. he uh, I mean when Sushi won't have his um, his answer there. Although he does have a big game hunter, so that can always help him out. So uh, yeah, doesn't does I mean at this point uh, Deriku is in a really good position. Let's yeah. just put it that way. He can even just play Yeti. Doesn't even need to give a damn about. Uh, he might even innovate Sun Fury Protector, but I don't think that's necessary here. Yep, just run this in run the golem into it and 2-4 to the face because the golem right now is going to be killed by things like consecrate and so will the uh, yes. ancient washer so it's better for him to actually just trade right now Ooh, okay. I, don't, I don't like this play because if consecrate comes out here he's losing effectively 3 minions have you ever thought about it it's actually about the same because the golem will actually come back and still die to consecration anyway no but your, your keeper of the growth would still stay alive yeah the only difference is that the keeper of growth have 2-2 two -two there instead of the 2-1 that's yeah, which is oh a which second is... Eldor. Wow, did you just top deck that? Uh, second Eldor? Yeah. No, because he 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 Eldor the first uh one two. Then he Eldor the oh wait yeah so he's two Eldor. Come on, bro, stay with the game. Come on, stay wait, with the did game. Did he no? Sir, I please? I think yes, he did. Second okay, Eldor. Yeah, 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 second, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Deriko has an answer here, he can always just use the Mark of the Wild <laughs> on the 1-5 and that would be a 3-7. That oh. still kills off the 3-3. With a thorn. Oh. Yeah, or you can just go for face after that. Yeah, he can, he can kill off the 3-3 three, three and um, use the 1-2 to run into the 1-1 one, one, and the rest can go for face, which is a lot more smarter to play. And he can mm -hmm. run his Sun Fury Protector to, you know, protect stuff, but I guess he... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to do that because the minions there are all pretty low on health and the only minion that is worth the um you know the taunt is probably already buffed on Mark of the Wall, but I guess he's not gonna care about that play. I don't know, I don't agree with that. I agree with you completely, Lark. He should play Mark of the Wall here. Um it's a, vi a lot more viable a play as compared to what he's planning right now. Yeah, and you know why it's such a good play? Cause let's say he silences that Mark of the Well, it becomes a four five. Mm-hmm. So he essentially gets back his minions. So this is like one of the situations where he marks up the wilds, the one five, and it will still be okay for him. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. he's actually gonna trade, huh? Yeah, he's gonna trade. Hero power? 
and then one two to one one, or use the one two to kill off the three one, and then one attack it to the one one and two two to the face. Ah, I don't know. I still feel that the, the other option would be a better play. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess he's worried about stuff like consecration. Wow. Okay. No, but no. consecration won't kill him. No, that does not make sense. So the one one stays alive. That's the main reason. Okay. He essentially but it's is like a one one. It's a token killer right now. <laughs> it's a dude killer. Come yeah, on. that's what I always say. And now he gives he, it And now he marks the wild. Okay, like, it doesn't make sense because he could have just killed off the Elder Peacekeeper, still be at about 4 life. The only thing... Okay, I guess the only thing that would kill it is... Okay, I guess he has a point because the thing that would kill him is probably the Truce of a Champion. But even then, he could have marked the wild. Use both his 1-1 one, one and the 2-1 to kill off that 1 minion, then hero power kill the token and then hit face for 5 damage. Yeah, which would be a lot better I feel, but it's okay. This play is not bad as well, it at least prevents the instant uh, counter from Sushi, win Sushi, the true civil champion. But yeah, um, in this particular instance <clears> here, we are looking at the win Sushi just being a common dude summoner. But other than that, there's nothing else he's really doing. A defender Argus could just protect, uh, just give you know the dude a little bit of a boost, a pat on the back. It's a tough <sighs> right now. Wow, big deal. But yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of pathetic actually. I, I believe his play here is to hero power attack the two one one into the two 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 to the face with the three seven to the face. Two, two or to you the could face use, three, or seven, you could use yeah. the you could use the three seven to kill the two three because it's still out of. Uh, Truce of a champion range, and then 2-2 two, two to face. I would actually chop down the 2-2 two, two with Alura man, but... Ah, uh, no, it's a huge risk, but... No, but he got a very strong minion on the board, a 4-5, it probably provide a lot more trouble for Winsushi. The only thing that he's thinking now is that, is that a ability of a equality consecrate? Or maybe a equality wall pirate, so that's the main reason why Deriku is reluctant to play all the big minions yet. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, he actually went for the player that I mentioned, which is good. Hats off to Deriku. Yeah. Finally, a, a decent play. <laughs> so, be, <laughs> so be a man. Well, this, this Lark, man. Okay, here comes <clears throat> the Karn Blood Hoof. He can play that. Yep, for sure. Pretty good stuff. Um, but he's gonna end his turn. At least that will stop his dude summoning spree. I mean, it's been on like, for like 3 turns already. <laughs> he could also potentially... Nah, he has to, be, he has to play this. Next, Next turn, he can use... Um, oh, a mirror Karn Blood Hoof comes out. Okay, so he can play Karn as well on Deriku's side, and he can give his Taunt to Karn and Taunt up the other 3 5. Leave the Harvest Golem right where it is, man. It's happy. It's a happy little Golem right now. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna carry Blood Hoof at the side, Taunt to the side, run 5 damage to the face. The thing is this, he cannot afford to rush a Paladin because the Paladin always got heal and now it's in the 7-8 mana range, you know, he <clears> always can pull lay on hands, etc, nope. etc. Et but the thing is, we know when Sushi doesn't have those cards in his hand, but they're good, don't know that. So he is That's gonna opt for the aggro here, okay. I would... He's gonna attack? Okay, I, I guess, yeah, he's... Yeah, I guess that's also fine. He's running Putting... Sushi dry. Yeah, the thing is, even... Even if you're talking about like aggro, lay on hand. The thing there is, we go, top deck, people cast. He, yeah, but here's the thing: he essentially wastes a turn to heal himself. There's still huge minions aboard. Four five is only gonna clear off the three five. He still has a four five Just before a two two. Just calm down, Lark. It's so... okay. He's gonna heal for <laughs> eight, and what's gonna happen is he's gonna draw something like an equality, and he's gonna clear the board. Nah. With Pyromancer, yeah, I feel that could that could be a play here, but. Other than that, the other way is really to Avenging Wrath, but that's gonna deal like what, 8 damage, and this 8 damage is gonna be split. It will not kill the cow, the cash cow will still stay alive. Cash cow? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Seems, seems like, yeah, it's, yeah, I was thinking of this as a previous, previous play. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, unfortunate for him. Well, actually, not really unfortunate. Yeah, that's actually it's pretty so, okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty okay. It's pretty damn okay, but I think he's dead. Yeah, fossil nature, he's dead. There we go, guys. Game here, 12 damage mm -hmm. to the face, and we have Winsushi down by one game. Deriku up already. Oh, Mana Search in a lot of trouble already right now. 
I, I I don't know. I mean, I mean, I just felt that. I just felt that when sushi. Uh, He's kind of running out of steam. I don't know. No, yeah, I, I, yeah. It feels like he wasn't like focused. playing really. Yeah, it wasn't focused in my opinion. I I feel like he lost the moment he saw it. Say, drew it. Oh, were they actually gonna start a second game without waiting for ours? What the yeah. hell? <laughs> That's fine. What I'm, the I'm, hell? This I'm ready is for unacceptable. More this is unacceptable. <sighs> this is like no. What a fake more action or riot. <laughs> what a fake shout that was. But anyway, yeah. What? So yeah, we're gonna cross out the deck, Paladin, and we're gonna go into game real soon. Um, we have a rogue matchup against a druid, and ooh, miracle rogue. I don't know how this rogue is gonna size up. What do you think? I think it's probably still gonna fail against the druid, but you never know. Miracle rogues. I mean, they're given the name Miracle for a reason. They sometimes pull out miracles, and and by all means, that is a possibility. I like I like seeing lots of Miracle Rogues. It's just such a fun clan. Uh, not not a fun clan. It's just such a fun playstyle, in my opinion. Because it's like you you it's just like throwing out a whole bunch of combos while your opponent is just watching you watching you slowly slaughter them. You know, it's so it's so satisfying that feeling, especially if you're the one to pull out the combos. So, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's pretty good, but there goes an awesome starting hand. Look at that, man. Removals plus the early game. Coin into washer for sure. Yeah. And next turn, he's going to Sun, Sun Fear Protector. Protector. <laughs> yep. So good, man. When Sushi, the rogue, right now, his paladin couldn't really fit the bail, kind of swung his um, goddamn Trucifer champion, but couldn't hit Malfurion. Malfurion looking animal, not animal, human, not human, elf, not elf, kind of stuff. I guess the Truth for Champion couldn't quite hit the mark. <clears throat> but yeah. Yep. Here comes the and here, Protector. Mm -hmm. And here, I, I think Wen Sushi's thinking about sapping it, but he shouldn't. He's probably gonna wait for the combo with his uh, Gadgets and Auctioneer. He's gonna go for the card draw. But look at they have Deroku, he got better card draws because he's got Ancient of Lore plus a secondary uh, Sunfear Protector. So, definitely, a good, definitely in a good spot. He can run his 2-3 into the 2-2, or he could just ignore the 2-2 entirely and just go for face, which is, by all means, fine. Yeah. He can Wrath card draw the 2-1, kill it later. The thing is, I'm looking at an insane amount of sap in the hand of Wensushi. No preparation yet, but he already has got gadgets and auctioneers, so all he needs now is really just preparation. And he will basically just play a shit ton of cards and replenish the card again. But yeah, no, that's, that's the, the thing is he combo. has to he has to oh, he's gonna sap it already yeah he he doesn't want to deal with this <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with this the thing <laughs> is it's, sushi. it's gonna come back down again at turn four it's probably gonna have con <laughs> same <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious man all right here we go here we go here we go the turn four dream or he actually might even show in actually to be honest mm -hmm. I think he, yeah, I think he's going to chill in here. Or double Ancient Watcher. Mm, double Ancient Watcher really won't do much. Except kind of spook him out. <laughs> I, I think... I think a chill, yeah, I think the chill one is the best play here, maybe. And when Sushi is going to go ahead and catch it in. Backstab. If he gets preparation, it's not really gonna help him though. He's gonna backstab, draw some card, there's no conceal, it's probably gonna die. Yeah, the thing is, at least he doesn't mind because he has uh, another gadget already. And Edwin Van Cleave as well. Hmm. The thing is, I kinda like Deriku's hand a lot more because it looks a little bit more solid. Um, the Miracle Rogue is a concept that I find very risky. It's fun to watch, it's fun to play, but it's not. <laughs> it's just not not stable. Actually, actually, I don't think it's that risky to be honest, because there's so many ways you can combo. Before this, yeah. um, other like the guy that came out with the Miracle Rogue, he actually ran the, like everyone's Miracle Rogues nowadays is different variation. Usually, it's not the oh he's gonna copy the gadgets and auctioneer. Ha ah, uh ha! -huh. Now who has the gadgets then? Actually, that's pretty good because he has a lot of spells in his hand. He's gonna rough, and that's gonna provide like what four cards. 
<laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get nilled here, man. I'm telling you. Okay, he's, he's, he's gonna going sap to... it back to hand. Okay. Wow. Uh, I, I think you should gadgets in. That wind vent back cleave. Steve. Okay, it's just four four. No, I mean sap and then headwind vent cleave and turn. He doesn't want to. I actually think he should have gotten it to the six six range. Because that yeah. doesn't die to big game hunter. Yep, but there's no big game in the hand of Deriku anyway. But you're right. Yeah, but I mean, oh, I, I he's gonna be so here. sad, man. Because um, he can double wrath here, one to card draw, one to kill, or he could just swipe. But swipe is a huge waste. Okay, he's got Leroy right now. What he needs is just more cards. Can he look for anything that could probably one up this Druid? That's the question. But Ruff is gonna come in here and that's gonna deal 3 damage, probably hero power, pick it up, and we've been already addressed. Only managed to deal 2 damage effectively to the druid. Watcher is gonna come down. And it's gonna be up to Wensushi again. He does not have any more steps in his car and his deck. Yeah, SI agent. He's here. he's going to he's going to gadgetson. Eviscerate no ga he's got gadgetson, deadly poison, deadly poison. And Attack face, and then set himself up. Whoa! Why doesn't he use gadgets? Then? I'm gonna wonder why. He's gonna get rid of this. He's gonna deal two damage. No, he's going to actually use it for the face. Okay. Uh. And end the turn. I guess that's fine. He wants to get some minion on the board. No, that's because Cause... next turn he's looking for cold blood. Yeah. Plus the fact that uh, he does he doesn't have any more saps as well. So. Yeah, but it's probably gonna get roughed, so Cold Blood Dream is not gonna come through here. But yeah. that's the second rough that uh, Deriku has, so what's left is just two swipes. And a free gadget on Auctioneer, my god. Is he gonna and pick gadget on Auctioneer? Yeah. I would play the Ancient Watcher times two and do the, the Sapphire Protector. The thing is, if you wanted to play gadget, if you wanted to play Raft, you should have played gadget on Auctioneer first. But he's gonna do Ancient Walker and Sunfree Protector. Watcher. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Watcher, yeah. And Sunfree Protector. It's fine because here he knows that there's no more sap. So Miracle Rogue is pre pretty much screwed here on out, to be honest. Okay, oh, now he's going to. Yeah, okay, he's gonna use his gadget then. Seal? Oh, he's got Blade Fury. This is awesome. He's gonna Deadly Poison. He's gonna Eviscerate Face. And turn. Okay, gets Nat Pagel and end the turn, yep. And the next turn he's going to be able to kill off everything. Daily Poison, Blade Fury, yeah. Yep. Yeah, now now he's just praying for Deriku to use more cards. Come on, summon more minions, be greedy. This is the moment you'll be waiting for, come on. But he, he's gonna be pretty sad face if, uh, if Defender of Argus comes out here. Oh, yeah. no, he's gonna card draw! Oh my god, Deriku! <laughs> <laughs> Why would he defend on Argus something that's got taunt man and doesn't attack? It does not make sense, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Five. Okay. Well, he he's gonna, gonna lose the that five. He's gonna, he essentially wasted that because he's gonna lose the five life. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Here Daily comes the miracle. Poison. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he wastes one charge, which, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Not that bad a problem. Well, he could take Master of Spark 1, attack the other. No. Nah, 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 nah. No. He just wants to be safe. Yep, he's going to yeah. kill. Okay, now he's gonna cold Still blood. Still has eight mana. He's gonna eviscerate first. Um, cold blood. He's gonna deal like what extra damage? He can shiv. Okay, he's gonna shiv him. Get an extra card. Oh my god! Look at the card draw. He's just running through his deck right now. No going problems at all. Wow, shiv oh, he's again. Going I would shift again first, just for yeah, cut draw. Because I'm looking for another cold blood. <laughs> shadow Step. Ah, uh, Shadow Step may not be he's that dead. good he's right dead. now, but he's dead, yeah. Oh, 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 no, 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 he's got Blood Mage. Okay, here he should. No, he, he don't have enough mana for that. SI Agent. SI Agent is good. Yeah, yeah. SI Agent and then 8 4 to the face. Because next, next turn he's 100% good. <laughs> oh, he just got Miracle Rogue. Oh, look at that effect, though. Wow. Okay. If he, if he, Deriku just if, got a new face. If he gets a secondary eviscerate, he's gonna win. I don't think he's he only use he only has one in his hand. In right my now. eyes, he already won this game. Yeah. Because of Leroy Jenkins. It's as simple as that. Leroy Jenkins, Shadow Step, enough set. 
Yep. Enough said. The thing is, uh, there is a defender for Argus. He's gonna swipe this. Oh, too bad. No, it's okay. No problem. Leroy Jenkins, like I said, Leroy Jenkins should have stepped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, I, mean, I mean, too bad for 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 Deriku. Yeah. He thought he was safe. Oh, he even takes two more damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. He's just he he, manning them, man. Yeah, he doesn't even need to shadow step. He's just gonna attack face with dagger. I believe in non BM kills, so he's gonna do that. No, he's actually in a mystery. Wow, that's quite BM. <laughs> cut whenever you have the opportunity to cut. <laughs> yep. Miracle Rogue, man. That's what I said. Miracle Rogue. You can always right. pull out Miracle. Alright, chill. 1 1. Win Sushi 1. Deriku 1. <laughs> and it seems like it's pretty obvious already. They're not gonna wait for us. I'm gonna have to put a cross up first. We have Druid <laughs> already advanced from Deriku's side. Win Sushi got down. That's the Paladin. And. Yeah. So when Sushi has lost one game, has won one. Derek has lost one and won one, right? Is that correct? He no, both lost one. Mm -hmm. So both won one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what, what, I what meant. the hell, bro? <laughs> that's what it <I> meant. <laughs> oh wait, Derek went offline. Okay, something's happening here. Um, <laughs> he says that his game is lagging, so he's gonna restart the client. That's okay. okay. No problem. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> that game, man, that was pretty fun to watch. Crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, if you're in the chat right now, you can see that Alura is back in Korea to teach how to beat Trinity. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then Korea says, many misplaced slay Alura. Check your little more often first. Oh my god, what a BM slap to the face! <laughs> oh, 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 this is gonna be so nasty! Oh god. Oh god. Just just calm down. Just calm down. Create an Allura. Going at it in chat, boys. Let's get around in here. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, Your shaman. Better go play more. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, but that BM though! It's just sprinkling sun all over the, the, the dude from the loser's bracket or in the <laughs> loser's bracket. Well, he's at a. Well, Korea, I mean, it's understandable. He, Korea is like in the winner's bracket finals, so. <laughs> yeah, Korea's showing off right now. He's like, yeah, come on. And there's the standard, I don't mean any offense by saying I mean that's what I feel lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but right, okay, right. okay. on a more serious note, on a more serious yeah. note, they're just messing around with each other, no problem. Yeah, um, of course. I feel like he's right, Alura needs to practice the lethal possibilities of a shaman a little bit more <laughs> if he wants to have a better stand, because lethal is so important in this game. It eliminates any possibility of a loss there. Yeah, I mean, because anytime you have a chance to lethal, you want to take it because if you drag the game on longer, you have your your opponent always has a way to kind of get back into it. So you don't want to take that risk. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. So yeah, we have a we have a third game, guys, and that's a one-one Winsushi Deriku. It's still a tie so far. Oh my god, that pun! But yeah, um, I know I don't know. I just got drilled in by luck already. Every time I say hi, T I E, it makes me sound like T H A I Thai. Okay, bro, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. But yeah, so we have Winsushi Deriku, and it seems like Deriku is going to come up with his Hunter deck. Hunter that took Lemnis Gate's Warrior to the trash yep. bin there. This is the Hunter. Hunter, Hunter should probably win here against Miracle Rogue. Um, because usually Miracle wow. Rogue doesn't play much minions, you combo things, and when you don't have your early game stuff, you practically lose out on a lot of damage. Like. In order for you to actually turn the game around, you need to make sure you get a lot of buffs and, uh, like, you know, like you have your Shadow Step, Leroy Jenkins early, your Cold Bloods, and all that kind of jazz. Because um, during the early game, the the hunter is just gonna keep hearing, hero powering you every chance he gets. Like every turn, a hunter, aggro hunter wants to deal damage, and that's what and that's what Derek is gonna be for this, this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's good, but anyway, Deriku now managed to just shoot some steady shot at a rope. 
always hits the target. I hope he can actually have like a miss rate. No, like maybe ten percent miss rate, just for just for laughs. But yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It will not happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> no, then everything has a ten percent miss rate. There we go. Oh, that evasion proc though. <laughs> okay, go <'cause> through. <laughs> but that uh, uphill prop. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. That uphill projectile never that hits, uphill, man. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, oh. this is Hearthstone, you know. It, on, on this bot, there is no uphill, so. Yeah. The only there... uphill task is going without food for 5 hours straight, that's Babel and Luck. So. <laughs> Teriko is unfortunate here. Yeah, why is that? He got. He didn't get the 4, he got the 2 or 4. But still, that's gonna help out because he can use his. Wolf Rider here to go for face. That's gonna be a lot more value for Wolf Rider. Wolf Rider is gonna be like what? Um, it buffs his attack, right? So that's 4 1. Yes. That's one that's hell right. of a buff. It's very good. Yeah, there we go. Did it poison? He's gonna be yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna next turn kill that off plus shift. Um, but left for no. Or uh, he could also. <laughs> he could also. Let's see. Nah, I would, I would really Wolf Rider here. This is to maximize damage. Playing as a UTH, I would oh, no, really I was, just go uh, for face. Yeah, I was talking about Winston Street. But yeah, here, Derek could oh. definitely Wolf Rider plus uh, Lepernome. Because Lepernome, it, it doesn't matter if it dies, because it will still do, deal 2 damage to the face. And you want it out on the field anytime possible when you have the mana. Just put it out there. You doesn't yeah. need to wait, just put this it is there. Not a, this is not the Die Wolf Alpha, you can put it anywhere. <laughs> it still gets buffed, bro. But yeah. But it's exactly. pretty cute to see Wenzu Shi reading the text there for the Leoc. But okay, he's gonna go for face, and what he's gonna do is gonna Blade, Blade Fury, but that's not gonna kill the 2 4 yet. He needs to make something happen that's gonna be a coin, and it's gonna SI agent. So, yeah, that's the grand plan. Clears the bot at least. Yeah, that's kind of good. Next turn, though, he's going to take 5 damage again. He's gonna take 5 damage, yeah, I think. Every turn oh. it's just 5 damage or more. Or he could take 3 damage plus a misdirection. I would actually... No, I will not misdirection. Uh, 3 3 is not big enough, not yet. I'm probably gonna shoot his face right now. I think misdirection is not that bad to be honest. It's good, it's good. It's a very good card. I like it a lot, but on a 3 3 it could be a lot better. I mean, I'm uh, I'm just thinking from a more greedy point of view, but you're right. I could have misdirection, it could be a steady shot. Because any point in time you can always play a true one plus you got two misdirection in the hand, so it's pretty okay. Misdirection plus Now if because... he plays misdirection is not good. Why? Because it will proc to his wolf rider. Or it could proc to himself. But the, what are the chances, man? Normally when you play misdirection, <laughs> you wanna make sure yeah, that's not good enough for me. Normally, if I want to play Misdirection, I will not even land a Wolf Rider that turn. I will play Misdirection, I will shoot the face. See, and... Wolf Rider dies, so if he attacks here, it will go to his face. Yeah, but that's assuming he kills that instead of using the... Whatever, bro, whatever. <laughs> but that... But that reasoning... Oh, that wow. reasoning is not even a real reasoning, bro. I can even hear yourself. Yes, it's a proper reason. Okay, okay, okay. You're here's speaking Derek. like, oh, he's gonna do this because I know in his hand he is that. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do, yo. But okay, here, Deriku should definitely play. Um... Buzzers. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no I think, I think uh, Just there's only option. Man. Yes, there's option here to uh, flame trap. I, I mean, explosive trap. Sorry. Leroy Jenkins, Explosive Trap. Yeah. Agreed. And hopefully the dude opposite stupid enough to run one into the face first, right? <laughs> yes. Let's see. Let's see but he basically happens. got his game kind of set it in already. Yeah, he just needs to Hunter Smug the 33. There is no other minions that is going to come off the Miracle Rogue's hand. So, yeah, no worries at all because the Rogue cannot heal and effectively this game has got a timer. The timer is ticking. The clock is ticking on the Rogue's health. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, okay, okay. Let's 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 think about the things that the rogue can do right now. So for sure, here he is gonna lose both minions. So he might want to just proc that off. Along with two health. <sighs> the thing is, he's in a really tough spot, though. Just for laughs, play Leroy Jenkins. Go for face. Just for laughs. <laughs> <laughs> and he loses the way. Okay, go through. Um, yeah, attack, he's gonna get card draw here. 
Yeah, which is good, which is not bad. So yeah, he's gonna get a card. It's a backstab, but there's no minions right now. Um and then he's going to end the and turn. Well Derek has practically got this game in the bag. If he top decks a No he doesn't get it. But this is actually still very good. Uh Blue Gale. Uh Blue Gale Hero Power plus Misdirection. Yeah, that's the only play. Now he can afford to play with Misdirection because it's not that important. But yeah, Hero Power is gonna be used right now, and that's gonna be three health. Effectively he will die next turn. <laughs> or at most the turn after that, right? And he's he gets a set. Set like an album. Oh, no. he's gonna attack with weapon. Wait. Oh no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. That, that's exactly it. I, I thought it was his weapon. Holy crap. Do you know that if there are no minions on the board, misdirection will not proc? If there are no minions on the board, misdirection will not pro not proc. Yeah, of course. Because he cannot misdirect. But only 13 health. Now the question is, if he plays Leroy Jenkins. He's probably gonna come onto his own face, and that's what the <laughs> hell, one hell of a way to lose this game, man. Okay, let's see. He yeah, is... he's gonna do it. There we go. <laughs> okay, maybe not because there are whelps there. So let's see. What's he's the RNGs on this? Um, the targeting oh. missile is okay. That's just a lucky. Whelp. You're lucky. You got really lucky there. Probably. But he's dead. He's dead. No, he has, he has to backstab the one one. He has no choice. He has to backstab the one one if he wants to survive. <laughs> he's gonna do it, man. Be... Okay, then he's going to have to eviscerate. eviscerate. The... Yeah. He's gonna have to eviscerate, and he's going to oh, have God. to conceal. Yeah, he can conceal. Actually, he still has a chance to win this game. Of course, it's gonna be depending on what, yeah, yeah. what yeah, uh, to there could top stack next turn. If it's a UTH, okay, okay. here we go, here we go, here we go. That one L. I already hope he don't get anything good at all. It's yeah. a UTH. Oh! I jinxed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I called out UTH. Yeah, I know it's how? my bad. He could have won this game. Yes, yes, yes. He could have won this game. That's right. He could have eviscerated. Oh, it's Timberwolf. Oh my god. Okay. Not like it's needed, but yeah. yeah. There we go. So two one hunters gonna get an extra game up. I'm sorry, man, guys. I jinxed it again. Hunter, Hunter is just a really good matchup against the Druid, to be honest. Uh, 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 wait, I mean not Druid, I mean Miracle Rogue, what am I talking about? Because, uh, like I said earlier, uh, you know, Miracle Rogue, it takes a while before you start ramping up your, your, you know, your godlike combination. Unless you're like the guy in the video who plays a Wisp, Shadow Steps, and then coins out a, a huge 10-10 Edwin Van Cleef. <laughs> yeah, and, well, this dude is going to play the next game. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go ahead. It's not like we're tired on schedule, but they are. So <laughs> we have Win Sushi up against Deriku. It's a 1 2 situation here. Win Sushi's rogue just got top decked by the hunter. The hunter doing a very good job so far. And yeah, Deriku, man. Two games up. He is afraid of a complete reversal again. But <coughs> all, all that's left is gonna be Win Sushi's druid deck. druid deck. And his druid deck is like, I think, Win Sushi's best deck. I've seen it play at, at, uh, at the other Hearthstone Alley tournament. At Top Cookie Gaming Calf, and that's one hell of a Druid deck. It's very staple, very constant. Um, of course, he ran a different lineup back then, as in, in terms of uh, having different classes. But this Druid deck, no matter how much I say about this, you probably <laughs> not in a good spot because um, if you just look at a hand, you won't understand what I mean. Wait, 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 wait. Deriku, there is no option here. He doesn't need to think. He definitely wants to take Starving Buzzard. Yeah, okay. Almost looked like he was about to take the. Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark, because if he does that, he loses both his... Stopping uh, buzzer. Uh, yeah, and that's gonna be really bad. He'll so. never find a stopping buzzer again. <laughs> yep. But yeah, right, so... Blood Mage hmm. knows. is he gonna track again? Nah, he doesn't need to track here. Hero power. <laughs> Just steal oh, damage. Shoot his face! Or, or, or he, could, he could coin out Wolf Rider attack face. Coin out Wolf Rider? No, why would I do that? No, I would... I would just shoot his face. <laughs> yeah, just cause it's fun. <clears throat> hey, why do you hit me? Cause it's fun. Hmm. Yeah. But, okay, yeah. we have a uh, Harvest Golem play here. Pretty okay. He's gonna pay back in kind. The hunter takes one damage. No problem at all. Explosive trap comes into the hand. There are A few options here. Of course, the default way really is to just play the Wolf Rider and have it charge into the. Sunset. <laughs> we're charging to the sunset. 
Um, Wolf Rider is going to. I hope he doesn't trade. Please don't trade. Please don't trade. Please don't trade. Please don't trade. He's gonna trade. He's gonna trade. He's gonna trade. He's gonna trade. No, it's good. Okay. I don't mind the, uh, the abusive sergeant play here. He's gonna deal five damage to the face. Mhm. Mm yep. Five damage to the face and the turn. And next turn, let's see. Blue Gale Warrior, Hero Power, that's it. No need to think. When you play a hunter, you go face. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's going to Blue Gale Warrior and he's going to Hero Power here. Uh -huh. Blue Gale, Hero Power. So Gale here power. Oh, and gonna pass. Yep. Yeah. Just reconstructing the face of Sushi all over again. I, I mean, when you reconstruct <laughs> a monkey, what does it become like? It's, uh, does it become like sashimi? I don't know. But anyway, now it's gonna be. <laughs> Man, I just had sushi for lunch yesterday, but all right. Now okay, set. screw you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, screw you, bro. <laughs> Sounds so wrong in his context, I know, but it's legit sushi, not this one sushi. But yeah, he's gonna play Cypher Protector. That's gonna have a ton up on the four five. That's okay. He's gonna whack four damage on Hunter. Hunter is gonna have a bit of a trouble going through this taunt. Now, the realistically speaking, the advantage that the Druid has over the Rogue in terms of fighting the Hunter is that Druid has got a lot of taunt, and he's got even a Drift of Claw that could probably be a four six very easily. And hunters, they generally don't have enough mechanics to go through the taunt. Unfortunately for one sushi here, Unleash the Hound is going to draw four cards for Deriku. And Deriku is going to have a really good time. He can fix Leroy, playing nobody's business, Leopard Gnome, and even Nectra Eagle Hunt Bow. So that's fantastic. All he needs right now is to drop the Timber Wolf. And that's going to be eight damage on the board. From his side, he can pick off the 4 5 using three. It gets another UTH, that's fantastic, but unfortunately we know he throws, or he threw away, or rather, the other stuffing buzzard, so he's only gonna have one left, <laughs> and mm -hmm. he's probably gonna die. Well, the, the, main, the main reason he did that is just to get the card draw. Uh, he needs his second Unleash the Hounds, because he has his Deeper Jenkins combination already. And I believe here, the 2 1, there's really no need to think, just hit the face. Yeah, go for face is the best um, strategy, like what Seth would say, face half, always best strategy. Um, but when Sushi has got Drift of the Claw, and even a swipe. So the, the question is, does he swipe face? I think he is thinking about it. Swiping face is just so irresistible right now. Yeah, Ben, he has his turn 9 combo. So if he's able, yeah, he's going to be able to kill off Deriku here. Yes. Um, Deriku needs to quickly... He needs innovate next turn for when Sushi, but for Deriku... Time is running shot. Here you can deal nine damage in next turn. That's max. Let's see here. Yeah, that's max. It's going to okay. Oh, got unleash the house. <clears throat> Does he have timber wolf? No, he doesn't. Well, he can. Yeah, I think I think once you should. Leroy. No, he cannot. Leroy. No. If he Leroy no. and unleash the hounds, he doesn't have enough damage. Will not have enough. He cannot. He lost. It's gonna be two game apiece. Best of five again. Down to the wire, man. And it's um, Druid up against what else? Is the last class? Uh, Druid? No. It's a shaman, is it? I gotta check the crosses. Hang on. Explosive yeah. Explosive. It's gonna be shaman. Yeah. Oh. Insane shaman. Yeah. He's going to unleash the hound. But he can he can unleash the hound to pick off the minions across the board, which is a little bit better. But and because then... his health is so low, he's definitely gonna take like six damage from Force of Nature, maybe even more from Savage Raw. He's thinking to run one 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 a piece into those uh, you know two free and the three free, and then explosive trap, yeah, and hit face, and then let him know. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Is that unless when Sushi pulls a lemon skate in that uh have you seen that beauty by the way in that lemon skate ran the force of nature first and then went into the explosive trap with savage raw and kinda lost the game there. He wait, okay let's think about this. He has It's gonna clean the board first, that's very wise. Yeah, it's good. 
down to 19 life. Secret's gonna pop. Out comes the 17 life into a charge attack. Next turn, he still doesn't have his combination. Nope. Deriku, Deriku can actually. <sighs> okay, let's How see. can you build 17 in one turn without any UTH combo? There is no way. And that's gonna be too OP. To be honest, I felt that. Ah, uh, that um, I think the companion is his only way here. Yeah, you were saying? I felt that he could have just gone with the Leroy combo just now. And ah, but the, but then he won't have his flame trap. <laughs> yeah. So the thing well, is the, this: no, he's the, got Leo out there. He can probably kill the four four, but next turn he's going to be turn eight at six damage. Ah, uh, he's going to control game. Yeah, he's going to control the game already. Not looking good. He has to kill the 4 4 or he's dead. He didn't get Misha, that's the problem. He had Misha, he would have a chance to survive, but yeah. Hmm. And look at that, Winsushi, even playing the heal here from Ancient of Lore. That's gonna be 22 health, even harder to kill. Plus, now the 5 5, you cannot really address it except that you run Leroy into it. Which basically means that you are conceding the game. He, he's lost this game already. There's no, just no need to say anything because he's down to eight. He's down to eight life, and he doesn't have anything to. Well, his only chance, really, his only is, ch mm -hmm. is explosive trap. Yeah. And if when Sushi messes this up, I think he's gonna be kicking himself in the in the back. Like, what did I just do? I yeah. guess he's going to. Savitro is gonna kill this game next turn. <laughs> so, and he has the full combo as well. Can BM finish him? Let Let's hope he attacks first. Because if he doesn't attack first, he's going to lose his his forest is going to be burnt down really quickly. His forest is going to be burned down. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Okay, let's see. It's going to okay. get burned. Okay, okay. Let's see what Wednesday's going to do here. Attack first. Yeah. Yeah. There we there go. We that's go. the that's there the winner. That's the winner in sushi. So yeah, we have a two two tie. Mm -hmm. Two. I don't know, see, here's the thing, I think he would have been better off had he just done Leroy Jenkins and un unleash the hounds and then um He will not have explosive trap that turn. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, like the next turn he can like, explosive trap, he can weapon up, he had so many options as well. But At he least not have he can next turn, right? He would have died. If he didn't put explosive would... trap he would have died, bro. Would he have died? Yeah, he would have died. Much... Very sure he would have died. <laughs> I mean, let me see. Would he have died? He would have died. You can review the stream. How how many how many what what, what minions did he have on the board? I forgot. Uh, a lot no, of he minions. wouldn't have. A lot of no, minions. he would have died. Oh yeah, okay, he would have, he would have died. died. He would have I died. think he would have died. Yeah, he would have died. There was a particular reason why he had to play a <clears throat> trap that turn. But anyway, it's two two here, two games apiece, and uh, it's gonna be the control game. It's between the druid as well as the shaman here. Shaman from Deriku, when she gonna play the druid? The druid has won him. Pretty much everything from the Tough Cookie tournament. But now he is in the loser's bracket. And he got knocked out by Kriya. Now if Kriya wins Lemnis get tomorrow, it's gonna justify the main reason why he got knocked out. And I think he will not feel so sore after that. <laughs> but he yeah. needs to win his game first. That's what he mm -hmm. needs to do. This is a close game. I mean it's a close series, sorry. Both players two and two. Um we have been having fantastic series so far in EHL season one cycle one. A lot of um down to the wire matches, um, best of five, all five games used up and cost us a lot of overrun but there are also games like 3-1 that we saw earlier today, both of those were 3-1s and you also had a uh, 0-3 from Trinity to Buyangi, that was the Budget King of Singapore but you know why you call him Budget King right? Yes, 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 I know. <laughs> Anyways, back to this game here, Winsushi up against Deriku, we have Winsushi taking top board, that would be the Druid up north, and we have Shaman down south, that's Deriku, and here comes the Harvest Golem from Winsushi, Deriku will have a pretty good play here, I think, he's got a lot of a lot of options out of this one, he can Rock Biter, but it's not gonna kill the small little bot there, but okay, he gets a lucky snake to him, so that's okay. Hmm. Let's see. He's thinking about rock bitering to kill off the two three. He can. Uh, um. But the two one will not die though. So yeah. Yeah. 
It's a bit unlucky for Derek who doesn't have Unbound Elemental in this draw. It would be so good. I feel because there's a lot of uh, overload there. But alright. Now back to Yabun Sushi. He picks up one half of the Savage Nature combo. Gets the Zhudrake on the floor. Dancing very nicely. Gracefully. But yeah, now Derek is gonna have the pressure. Yeah, what are we saying? That's a really good Azudrake. Uh, coin to Azudrake because now. Oh, unfortunately, he can get silence. But I don't think he wants to use Silent there. He could also hope for a spell totem and zap the 4-4 down. Or he could just play Blood Mage Talonos and zap the creature down. Yeah, um, and we have a Dancing Dragon dancing no more. Or he could Lightning Storm? Nah, Lightning Storm is too risky. It's too much. It's too much of overkill. Lightning Bolt is yeah, good enough. Yeah, plus. Yeah, exactly. Spell totem. Snake totem. Alright, yeah. that's not bad. The thing is, you should always play a totem first before you cast a spell. In case okay, in the, in the play, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so our harvest bot here from Winter Street just effectively became a taunt totem killer. And he's gonna clear the board, yep. Derico yeah. has no minions, he's actually in a really bad spot. Most people he, has... he just got a granddad minion there. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good minion to have. But he can't play. Oh, he can! He can. But he doesn't have an. Enough cannot for play fire, you can spirit. play earth. Um, yeah. you will not die in one turn. Come on, that's like eight, that's like a seven eight man. How the how the hell can you kill a seven eight in six turn? In, in, in one turn, turn, sorry. In turn six, let's see. Turn he six. can. Yeah, he can. He can run the drew of the claw. He can kill it. Enough. He can effectively. He can, but I mean, I'm just saying what Derek is thinking right now. Yeah. I think lightning storm here would be a pretty okay play, but if he does that. Gets us okay, yeah. He's oh, gonna storm yeah. for sure. No, I think if he storms, though, he's gonna be again uh, overloaded. I don't think he wants to do that. He overloaded as in he cannot play fire elemental next turn, but he can play earth again. Yeah, but usually you want to combo your earth with your ancestral spirit. Ah, uh, but then it gets silenced. Yes, yeah, that's another point. <laughs> well, I think the main thing is. He wants to have enough mana for his fire elemental because if he uses lightning storm here, he can't play it the next turn. And he's gonna silence, kill it, and then end the turn. Okay. Good decision by him because the two free dies to the fire elemental. As for Wen Sushi though, he can't. Yes, oh, he has innervate. He's gonna Ragnaros. Here we go, Yolo Rag. Oh, yo! Here comes the Fire Lord. Uh, oh. Goes into the totem. Oh, close though. Okay, that's a 50-50, not so good coin toss there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not what you really want. You wanna instantly hit the face, because in case he has a hex, at least you've done 8 damage. Now, I think Deriku might be thinking about... Uh, he... Uh, let's see here. He can play his fire elemental, kill off the two free, and hope that Rag doesn't kill his fire elemental. And goes for face so that at least he can kill off Ragnaros the next turn. Oh, it's quite, quite, it's quite a difficult uh, decision for him. Yep, it is. Let's see here. He's going to. He's gonna fire elemental. He's gonna use the lightning bolt as well for Ragna. He's gonna end it. He has to end it. Yep, he's gonna end it. When Sushi, can he deal with this? He can, of course. Keep Moonfire plus Wrath equals dead equals yep. 8 damage to face. So. Yep. Down to 20 life, man. Deriku is about this to is lose no this longer game. 50 percent. This is a hundred percent fireball incoming. That's gonna be 20 health. Shaman Deriku <laughs> right now. No doom hanger, doom hammer. Sorry, in play yet. He has to Sarah, but not enough mana for that. He can play the taunt totem, but it's probably gonna get one up by the fire lot again. He's probably gonna get silence, but no, no he... more silence. Okay. He's gonna taunt totem. This is so bad because, uh, <laughs> man. Yeah, I think Savage Roar and Drift is gonna be now. It's gonna Ancestral? Okay. 
Okay, that's, that's not so bad right now. The thing is, he's, it's very risky because let's say when Sushi has another Keep of the Grove in hand, does he top deck one? No, he doesn't. So, it only uh, works when I say it, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Um, bear he form. can, mm -hmm. he can, yeah, bear form, nap pagel, and just end the turn. End turn, yeah, just, just chill, you have lethal. Is it gonna hit? Shit. Just hope he hits the f face. Oh, yes, it gets the 7 8. It comes back to life, but he can instantly kill that later on, so. It's not that bad. I would have preferred it Oh, went but face another face. ancestral spirit, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay, just gonna play bro. that, yeah, he's just gonna play that and lightning storm, I think. Um, he should totem first. Six mana only though, so I think <laughs> he cannot should, throw them. He should run the seven eight into the four six. Ancestral spirit. Ancestral spirit and lightning, lightning storm. storm. Yeah. I think there's a high chance that uh, the seven eight would have the ability to go for the Ragnaros here, but there's always the thought that there's a second drift of claw in the hand of Winsushi. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, he doesn't get any single one oh. kill. Yeah. That's he, because to... he only deals 2-3 there, so he, has to zap he will not kill three. anyone anyway. He's gonna zap the 4-3. He's gonna kill Ragnaros, I think. Yeah. No, no, no. He... Yeah, kill Rag... yeah, kill Ragnaros. Definitely yeah, kill Ragnaros. Life. No thought there. Yep. And he gets his, he gets his uh, 7 eight back. There you go. <laughs> if he's calling a play, he would not have the ability to kill Ragnaros, but... Oh well, not a, yeah. not a big a deal. Yeah, actually, actually, his play is better. My bad. And now, all of a sudden, the defense, the sushi setup, just gone. It, yep, he can, he can as you trick Raph, but that's only gonna deal four damage, four, five, six, seven damage only as yes. savage roll. Oh, for sure. savage four. He needs to do that. He needs to do that. Um. He can he, I mean, it doesn't matter to take 7 uh, damage to the face, but you need to kill the Earth Elemental, I feel. Uh, I mean, you gotta yep, give the dude a break, War. man. He just lost Ragnaros. Savage War, kill everything, lose this everything. Is a very, this is a very bad trait, but yeah, that's because... It's a really bad trait. That's because um, he knows that Deriku is kind of mana locked this turn, so he cannot play anything. Oh. But he can't even play Ragnaros this turn. He can only Lightning Storm and Mana Titan, so basically it's a wasted turn here. And yeah. Sushi's risk kind of paid off there, so no oh, problem. Oh, is he Delta. really going to do this? No, he's not. He There's no doesn't way. want to lock himself, man. He shouldn't. Yeah, he shouldn't lock himself. He should just play the Mana Titan. Even if he dies, so be it. Just take a chill pill. It's okay. He already used Savage Roll, which is why Deriku kind of already is in a very pretty good shape right now. So all the mana locks gonna get unlocked right now, and the King Master mana is a very good unlocked. top deck. That's fantastic. He's gonna rough the spell totem. Picks up one card. What's it gonna be? Let's see first. Um, Karn Blood Hoof. Yeah, he can go Karn, or he can go uh, Drift the Claw for a bit of uh, bear form. He's gonna go Charge. Wow. Okay, we Harvest yep. Golem. That's gonna kill the mana tide and deal four damage. So that's 16. Um, he lost the Savage Roll, but he still has Force of Nature. Waiting for that to come up. Actually, maybe he should have just made that into a 4-6. I would have he, wanted it his, as a 4-6, but... His reasoning there is he wants to quickly kill off the Shaman before he is able to play his bigger minions, but in doing so, he actually puts himself in a bad spot because it gets board cleared if it gets if Deriko gets a spell totem. Nope, he doesn't. He only works on SA, So but Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just okay. saying. Okay, but yeah, you're right. Uh, he should have made it into 4-6. I agree, I and I like I that play a lot better, but... Mm -hmm. I think he should just play his... Oh, Feral Spirit! He's gonna lock himself again, man. I don't know about that play, though. Back to where he started. Don't Lightning Storm, don't Lightning Storm. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is... Um, it would be possible for the 2-3 to knock on the Feral Spirit, one of them. And then use the Earthen Ring Fuss here, plus Hero Power. But okay, forget it. He just went Karn Blood Hood. That's fine, he doesn't need to heal up the, uh, the dude there. It's okay, he can still do 4 damage to the face, which is what would be a lot more advisable than picking up the 1 1 there. Because it's okay, the most of the 1 1 can kill is just a 2 1. Yeah, that's Here's fine. the thing though, his board is still gonna get cleared again. If he gets Spell Totem here and he gets the 50 50 with the Lightning Storm. He can actually kill off everything. Uh, there will four, only four, be a 4-5 left yeah. on... Yeah. But, he, but to... he is gonna get mana lock again, and that means that he no Ragnaros, no Ysera. Maybe Ragnaros, but no Ysera. And he... I mean, I would play Sunwalker here, but I know he's probably gonna die. 
So the storm is maybe a better choice, like you said. Ah, oh, it's not just healing for them. Sunwalker is not gonna help him, I think. Maybe it's it might. Not gonna help him. You're right. It's not gonna he... help him. Essentially, he should probably run his. Storm here, just storm. Okay, he's just gonna. Oh, storm. he's going to storm. Okay, interesting. It's not gonna do much of anything, but he can kill the four four if it's a tree damage. No. Nope. Oh, he can kill off the it. two one. This is such a helpful storm for Wen Sushi. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. So Wen Sushi now effectively picks up Innervate. It does not have lethal yet. It's only eight damage on the field. He's gonna drop another big mid-sized minion. It's actually a bit of a uh, contradiction there. Big mid-sized minion, but yeah, it's a 4-5, man. You cannot kill a 4-5 that easily. Plus, the fact that if the 4-3 dies, it's gonna come back as a 4-5 again. Yeah, I guess this is gonna be Wind Sushi actually gonna advance, man. Deriku effectively might just be out of this game. Yeah, he's 100% out of it. He's out of this game. He's out of wait, this wait, league. Wait. He's out of this series. Yeah, he's out of this game. There's he's out of. Game. He's out of his mind. He's out of his life. He's out of everything. <laughs> man, <laughs> Wind Sushi. Earth the Fortree play his Sunwalker. Or play Sunwalker, hope he gets another taunt totem. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not gonna happen. Stuff like that happens only once. <laughs> but yeah. Sunwalker is just gonna buy him some time, but we all know this is gonna be a sad farewell to Derry Crew. He's been a very quiet boy, but nevertheless, Ting Master is what Wunsu is gonna try and handle it this way. That's a Dino Bot, but. Yeah, not a devil yes, even that day. So yeah, what's she gonna be the winner of this loser bracket round two? He will advance to round three where he will face either Trinity or Lura, his fellow teammate. So that's a Lark. Any thoughts about this game here? Oh, the series. Series, pretty, pretty awesome series. Not that bad. Um, that ancestral spirit earth elemental was pretty sick, and that thing just doesn't die. Holy crap! <laughs> Got a lot of value out of that card. Thanks to the fact that Wensushi didn't have an, uh, a single silence to help him that day, but nevertheless, I mean Wensushi. <laughs> <Not> a single <laughs> silence. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single Not a silence. Single was silence given. He had a silence, but he used it a little bit prematurely. So, yeah, kind of yeah. bear with the double, uh, I think, triple. No, the thing is, of elemental. Yeah, sorry, you were saying. The, the thing is, I think he had another, another keeper of the grove. I'm not too sure. I think he only used one. To be fairly honest, but either ways, in that game, when Sushi was 100% gonna win it. 100% so. man, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I mean the, the shaman practically ran out of steam, so yeah. And uh, the fact is, um, there were no misplays as much as I could say. The ancestral spirit is pretty good. Um, Deriku kind of got forced into a corner, which is okay. But the rogue match though, there was some misplays there. I think when Sushi actually missed little against the hunter, but yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no worries at all, but yeah, it's generally a very good series, a lot of clutch plays, I would say. Um, some misplays here and there, uh, not as big, but still generally okay. And Wen Sushi's part, he played a fantastic Miracle Rogue, kind of tried to buy himself back into the game there with the Leroy Jenkins play, but unfortunate for him, it seems like he couldn't because of the top deck UTH that people kind of foresaw and said, and I feel bad because I kind of jinxed it for him. And out of all the cards could draw, uh, I mean, he could have drawn something completely useless, like tracking. But uh, tracking is actually very good. Okay, maybe not tracking. Maybe like uh, I don't know, maybe a timber wolf, you know. And the timber wolf will not do jack, but a UTH, however, is gonna do something. And <laughs> that, that was just clutch, man. So yeah. So that's it, man. Lark, any other words to sum up this series before I talk about the day in general? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, again, well played to Wen Sushi and. Derko, he tried his best, but unfortunately, that will be the end of his road here in Cycle 1 for EHL Season 1. Never mind, he can always, you know, join back in Season 2. So, yeah. yeah. He's gonna be a figure to look out for in Season 2. Not so quiet after.